everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. Less than 10 days now to Christmas. It's Saturday and it's been a very lazy slow Saturday. It's afternoon. Oh no. It's just noon. It's only six minutes afternoon. <laughs> it feels later than it is because I've been awake since about 5.30. I'm so tired. Yeah, I just, I woke up, my stomach wasn't feeling well. It's feeling better now, and I've been able to eat something, finally. I woke up feeling sick and then couldn't fall back asleep, and then just eventually gave up on trying to sleep completely. And so, turned on my laptop and Netflix and just started watching some things, but I just, I'm just so tired. <laughs> so you can tell, I can hardly speak. So I've just been kind of really taking it easy. I eventually made breakfast. I've painted my nails. It's a nice cool day, so my apartment is nice and cool, which I enjoy. I had I'd originally thought that I might go see a movie this afternoon, but now I just, I don't really want to leave the apartment. I think I'm just gonna stick around here. I'm still waiting for two Amazon packages. And oh my gosh, I ordered another book. Seriously. I need an intervention. And this one's a novel, it's not for my dissertation, so I kind of feel guilty about that, but I also kind of don't. And it was cheap, much cheaper on Amazon than if I bought it at the bookshop, so. But that will get here on Monday. So I'm trying to finish the, the note that I'm currently reading, the book The Note, before the new book arrives. It's kind of just going to be a quiet at home day, but that's really all I feel like doing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit later now and my packages have arrived and I also realized that I haven't opened advent calendars yet. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'll show you the books. So day 16 is behind the carolers, it looks like. Ooh, we've got uh, another bar soap. I don't think this is full size, but it's still a really good size. These sizes of bar soaps from L'Occitane lasts me quite a while, but I don't think it says... I do see roses, rose flower extract, and I think that's violet, so that'll be nice. I feel like I've smelled this in the store, and I do like it. I just can't remember the scent. And then 16 down here. Looks like another kind of gift type item. Oh, I think... Oh, it's post-it notes. Cute little fox post-it note. That'll be cute. Nice on my desk. And then 16. It's down in. And it's a little, like, toy bugle. Cute. So I've got my two packages. I'm excited to read these, even though, like I said in a previous vlog, I'm not supposed to be reading anymore. I'm supposed to be writing. Shh. Don't tell my advisor. At least I am writing too. So this one is The Substance of Style, How the Rise of Aesthetic Value is Remaking Commerce, commerce Culture, and Consciousness. And this is by Virginia Postrel, who also wrote this book that I love, The Power of Glamour, um, Longing in the Art of Visual Persuasion. I've been using this book a lot, but this book has been getting cited in another one of my kind of main foundational books. So I thought it might be good to have this. Um, and I do really like her writing. It's used, but it's in good condition. There's no highlighting. And then the second book, and this is the one that I really need to be able to finish up this chapter because I want to cite from this. And this is a former library copy, which I secretly love that. So I love when it's library copies. I like the the plastic cover and seeing 
the library sticker. Am I the only one who likes old library books? Um, so this is Roots of Style, Weaving Together Life, Love, and Fashion um, by Isabel Toledo and with illustrations by her husband, Ruben. This looks like it's just gonna be really fun to read. I'm just loving these illustrations. Yes, I found it. And I, I love, I love that illustration of Michelle and President Obama. That's really cool. Okay. I found the section I need, so I now have page numbers. Oh, and I like that one too. Okay, so these look fun. Am I the only one that like gets books and then kind of wants to read them all at once? Like, I'll just read a chapter of this, a chapter of this, and just go back and forth. I know that's not the most practical way to read. I'm gonna go back to watching TV or Netflix. I watched a really bizarre documentary called The Voyeur on Netflix. It ended up not being what I thought it was going to be. And I don't know, there's not much I can say. It's just, it's a really weird, but interesting documentary. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and keep relaxing. Yeah, I can't even think straight. So I'm gonna go lay back down. I'm up a little late, <laughs> especially considering how early I woke up. It's 10.15, so I'm going to wrap this up really quick so I can finish editing this and go to sleep. It was a good day despite waking up ridiculously early, especially for a Saturday, and despite not feeling well when I woke up. The rest of the day kind of went well. It was just nice and relaxing and a very cozy evening. I started watching Harry Potter again, like I did last year. And I can't remember if I did it the year before as well, but I do just usually kind of feel like watching all the films um, before Christmas, like right around this time. Yeah, Harry Potter Christmas Marathon has commenced. Um, that was fun. I love I love the early ones when they're little. I love the later ones too because they get the plots get a little bit more interesting, but the early ones are just so darn adorable because they're so young. They're babies. So yeah, so that was good. So I watched that while I ate dinner and just kind of chilled out. I've taken a shower. I've washed my hair because I desperately needed it. And now I'm going to go to sleep. And tomorrow I will go to zinc. So I will take you all along on that. So yeah, make sure you come back tomorrow for day 17. We're getting really close. And I'm just, I'm trying so hard to make sure that I get to enjoy it and not let these next several days just kind of roll on by. Because Christmas Eve is a week from tomorrow? Yeah. Christmas Eve. Well, from when you guys are watching this when I upload it tomorrow, Christmas Eve will be, if you watch it the day this video goes up, Christmas Eve is a week away. Yeah. 
So I really want to make sure that I get to enjoy this week and not get too crazy with stuff. I still have so much to do as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, say hi in the comments. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. We've had a few new subscribers join the channel, so hello and welcome and thank you. And if you are watching this video and have not subscribed, I hope you'll click the button and say hello and introduce yourself in the comments so that I can say hi to you properly. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching this one. Okay, I need to go to sleep now. Bye-bye. <laughs>